Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, my name is Christina and today I'm gonna talk about top 10 uh, things that supervisors usually do, some of supervisors usually do and that annoys crew so much. Let's start. Number one, authoritative style of leadership. I guess that most of you who are working as a crew already know that supervisors who come into a briefing room ignoring the rest of the crew, just sitting down, filling up their papers or just searching for something on their iPad, uh, just uh, waiting for that time um, that briefing should start and then they just look around like, okay, I'm the boss here. So you don't feel very comfortable uh, for crew it's super annoying because uh, they already know that it's, it's gonna be mess on the flight. Why? You will hear another reasons. Number two, in briefing room um, also, before you go for the flight, before you go to the aircraft, uh, they have this uh, reporting system uh, when they usually say, if you don't follow procedures, I will report you. You as a crew um, have right to make mistakes, right? We're all human beings. And for them, if you make mistake, that means that you will be reported. Uh, you need to know your uh, rights. So make sure that you know um, how many times they should warn you before they report you. Uh, as far as I know, you have two chances. Third time when they give you feedback for the same thing, they really have to document it. So don't uh, believe them when they say that they will report you, even if they do that uh, when, for, uh, when some mistake happens for the first time, uh, you have right to complain about it to your manager. So don't be afraid of that. That is. Number three, misusing their power. Uh, that means that usually they have zone to serve, they have to take care of some amount of customers. And what do they do? They give their zone to another crew to work for them. That crew also has a zone, but still they don't mind. They want them to, they want the rest of the crew to work uh, for him or her, doesn't matter who supervisor is. And for the time he's or uh, she is busy with some uh, work, like uh, searching for something in uh, her or his iPad and uh, usually doing nothing, just sitting throughout the flight. When they're bored, usually they go to the cockpit and you are the one who has, uh, has to take care of their customers. Sometimes some customers are making trouble on board the aircraft and crew are there uh, there to solve that problems uh, but sometimes crew cannot do that that's why they have supervisor that's why they have someone who will protect them and who will solve that problems and some of the supervisors don't like doing that that's why we have fourth uh, the most annoying uh, situation on board the aircraft and it's uh, supervisors don't take charge of situation they really have to understand that they are there for uh, protect, pr protecting uh, the interests of company and to protect their crew. Of course, customer is first, but sometimes customers are not right. Uh, supervisors who are not ready to deal with customers are not ready to be supervisors, right? Procedures are there to be followed, right? But sometimes you have to do something different because um, real life is not like what it is in books. So we have fifth, the most annoying thing that supervisors usually do, and that's not thinking outside the box. You remember that I mentioned at the beginning that there are some supervisors who like to report crew when they are not following procedures. But if you have to do something different as a crew, of course, you will uh, tell that to your supervisor and he or she has to understand why that had to be done. Um, it's very important that supervisors think outside the box. If you have to do something different to make customer happy, to make a customer safe, of course that you will do it. Uh, supervisors are there, there to uh, write it down, to inform the company, but still they're there to, re uh, to support you. If they don't support you, if they're ready to report because you didn't follow the procedures, again, they're not ready to be supervisors. 
as a cabin crew you are well known like well dressed with nice makeup with nice uh, bun etc and you have supervisor who has to be your role model if you have supervisor who doesn't have proper lipstick uh, who has a messy bun um, who didn't iron um, his or hers um, blouse that means that we have six problem here and it's walk the talk they have to show how you should be as a crew because supervisors are people who are working for so many years in that company they're uh, familiar with all uh, procedures grooming uh, standards so they have to follow them if they're not following them what they can expect from you right number seven playing victims or favorites some supervisors they like to choose some crew and to decide if it's gonna be their favorite crew or it is gonna be the victim if it is the favorite crew that means that that crew won't do anything on the flight because supervisor a supervisor will be okay sit down rest enjoy talk to me someone else will do your job or if you're the victim that supervisor will do everything uh, to make your flight miserable that means that usually you will work uh, for them that you will work for the rest of the crew because you are the victim whatever you do it's not good enough you are there to work to do your job and to be equal as the rest of the crew again it happened to me so many times that flight is so smooth and we have eight the most annoying problem with supervisor and it is they're looking for problems on the flights they need problems they have nothing to do they just want to fight with someone they just want to report someone they want to make sure that they are the power on that flight number nine they're not planning the feedback at the right time that means that usually they want to embarrass crew in front of the passengers uh, all good, all excellent uh, supervisors, they know how they should behave in front of the customers. Even if they have to give feedback to one of the crew, uh, they have to do it when they're alone, when they're not in the cabin, uh, usually when they're in the galley, so to uh, explain what crew supposed to do different. Sometimes supervisors don't do that. They are banging the car doors, uh, they're rolling their eyes inside the cabin, uh, they don't apologize to the customer because crew did mistake, they just say yes, she was wrong. Uh, that is not a um, good supervisor, I guess, and you as a crew don't feel okay because it's normal that you're making mistakes, but it's not normal for them to behave like that in front of your guests. And the last but not the least, they're not supportive. They, as a supervisor, they have to be your support. They know more than you, they have more experience and they really need to be there to be your backup. In case that you don't feel well, they have to be there. In case that you don't know something, they have to make it clear. Even uh, if you are struggling with something, if, it, if you're not uh, sure, if you're not confident, they really have to be there for you. Uh, they have very intense trainings about how to deal with people, doesn't matter if they're crew or customers. They really need to be supportive. If you don't have supportive supervisor, uh, just don't be shy don't hesitate uh, you really have to talk to them you really have to tell them that they are not doing the right thing sometimes you will make mistake uh, you won't even know that it is a mistake they really need to be behind you just to give you support I really hope that you find this video useful if you want to know what are the top 10 things that crew usually do and that uh, annoys uh, supervisors you should go to uh, Yulia's YouTube channel and to search for that uh, video there and we have one more colleague she's Nidhi and she will give solutions for both problems uh, also we would like uh, you to subscribe to our channels to leave your comments uh, if you like it not if you have some suggestions and uh, also follow us on our uh, instagram accounts 
so um, we can stay in touch and at least we can um, give you some more information that you really need to know uh, if you want to become a cabin crew or if you're already cabin crew. Uh, all the best from Belgrade and see you in next video.